Today we're talking about chapter markers. The School of Podcasting with Dave Jackson. Hey, I'm Dave Jackson from the School of Podcasting.com, and today we're going to talk about chapter markers. So these are really handy if your episodes have multiple segments. It allows people to skip not to the next podcast, but to the next segment. So the first thing we have to understand is really what the heck is a chapter marker. So let's go over to the other screen. And this is what they look like in Overcast. Uh, you can see here, you have the different chapters here and you can see the time stamps on them. And if I go to, uh, if I were to, you'll see here that you can actually go to the na next chapter that way or in Overcast, you can click on this button and it will show the, uh, the chapters, which is what we're looking at here. This is just timestamps, and you can get this. Today we're going to be showing Hindenburg Journalist, but if you just put these in your description, in your show notes, in your podcast, there are some apps that will automatically make these clickable. So these really aren't chapters, but I'm just pointing those out here. And so this is an overcast. If I switch over here, this is what they look like in Apple Podcast. Now, Apple Podcast, uh, you have to kind of scroll to see them. Let me show you a quick video of Apple Podcasts. So here we are. I'm, I've hit play and I'm scrolling down. You'll see there that the timestamps are not clickable. And in my case, I have a lot of show notes. And if you scroll down to the bottom, you will see chapters at the very bottom. And those are clickable. And so we saw there in Apple Podcasts where they didn't make those timestamps clickable. And I just want to point this out that different apps do different things. Some show artwork, some don't. Some use time stamps, some don't. Some uh, will use the chapters and some will not. So let me show you how I make my chapters and how I get my timestamps. All right, so I'm gonna take you over to Hindenburg Journalist. This is what I use to edit my podcast. So here it is, and you wanna put these in at the very end. And the reason for this is if I were to come in and that yellow line right here is the chapter marker. If I came in here and cut this, notice that the chapter marker did not move. I'm gonna put that back. So you wanna put these in last because if you do any editing later, you have to just, and they're really easy to move. You can just drag them around. But what you wanna do is figure out where you wanna put a chapter. So you can see I have a few more here, but let's say I wanna put one right here. I could just click on my timeline, right click and choose add chapter. Now, Dave, how did you rename those? There's a keyboard shortcut in, I could, well, number one, I could just go view and say chapters, but you can see where it's control alt H. And when I do that, they show up here. You can drag these around. I could drag them over here on the uh, right-hand side of the screen. I could have them here. You can drag them up around, however you want to, to do this. They're kind of portable that way. So I'm gonna put them up here and then you can right click and undo, uh, rename them, things of this nature. They're super easy. I don't do this, but you could actually have a different piece of artwork at each chapter. Uh, to me, that's a little overkill. But what I love about this in Hindenburg is I can right click up here and say copy as text. And so if I do that, I'm just gonna open up Notepad. And what you can do then is paste this here. Now what I do is I don't need this kind of precision. So I will just come in here in one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three, and just down. One, two, three, down, one, two, three, down, one, two, three, down, one, two, three, down, one, two, three. Okay, now if I don't want the hundreds of seconds, it's the same thing. One, two, three, four, down, one, two, three, four, down. You get the idea. And the other thing you wanna to do to make these work in let's say WordPress or your show notes is you wanna have an extra space in between these. So this is where I would just go to the end of this and press delete. That brings that line up and then press enter. I know it seems like it's the same. And usually I do that part when I'm in WordPress or whatever my, you know, whatever you're using for your podcast, uh, your show notes and such. So that's how you make chapters in Hindenburg. And that's what they look like in your different apps. And I said, if you're doing multiple segments, it makes it easy for your audience to skip to a certain area. So for example, I have the same intro of my show. I say the same thing. I introduce myself, etc. And my regular listeners may want to skip that because they've heard it a million times. So I give them that option. 
you do want to kind of ask yourself sometimes of like, if you're making it easy for people to skip because, well, maybe they don't want to hear that. You better look at yourself and go, well, is this really valuable? If I'm not delivering valuable uh, information. That's a problem. But that's a quick look at chapters. There are other programs. If you just Google, you know, adding chapters to MP3 files, I know Marco from Overcast has one. I know there are other tools. I just use Hindenburg. Hindenburg, by the way, is available on the Mac or the PC. Thank you so much for watching and uh, stick around for some more videos. I'll have links down below if that's an option. Thanks so much.